Power transformers are the most important components of an electrical grid. Transformers designs differ by the cooling and electrical insulation systems used. There are dry transformers and oil immersed transformers. Most of the transformers in service are oil immersed. An oil immersed transformer, also called oil filled transformer, is a kind of voltage transformation device utilizing the oil cooling method to reduce the transformer temperature. Unlike the dry type transformer, the body of the oil immersed transformer is installed in the welded steel oil tank filled with insulation oil. When an oil immersed transformer in operation, the heat of the coil and iron core firstly is transformed into the insulation oil and then to the cooling medium. And according to the capacity sizes, it can be divided into an immersed natural cooling transformer and an immersed forced air cooling transformer. Types of oil immersed transformer. The oil immersed transformers have two main types as single phase transformer and three phase transformer. Single phase oil filled transformer are 50 kVA, 25 kVA, 15 kVA. Three phase oil immersed transformer, open type three phase oil immersed transformer and closed type three phase oil immersed transformer. An oil filled transformer is structurally similar to that of a transformer. It's one of the types of transformers classified according to the form of core insulation. Hence, it has the identifiable feature of oil immersed coils to lower the heat map of the devices within it. The basic elements of an oil immersed are consist of the magnetic core, windings, and bushings. The magnetic core provides a path, path for magnetic flow. Windings create a magnetic field and consist of a conductor coil, wrapped around the core and insulated with pressboard barriers and screens. The thickness of the winding insulation increases with voltage. Bushings connect transformer windings to a substation. Oil type transformers are used in power distribution or electrical substations. Their coring coils are immersed in oil, which cools and insulates. Oil circulates through ducts in the coils and around the coils in core assembly, moved by convection. The oil is cooled by the outside of the tank in small ratings, and by an air cooled radiator in larger ratings. Purpose of using oil immersed transformer. Oil type transformers can be ground, pad or pole mounted for use outdoors. They deliver efficient performance in diverse applications, including transmission and distribution networks, renewable energy generation, and small industries. The oil transformer has a huge capacity, so it will save a lot of electrical energy, minimize power loss, save energy sources, and reduce costs for users. More than that, the oil in the machine cools the internal wire cores to contribute to the durability and electrical properties of the transformer equipment. Standards for Power Transformers The IEC and BS standards for transformers and their parts are the most widely applied standards in most countries where local electric authorities have either adopted one of these standards or created one that suits the needs, laws and regulations of their country. The following list of main standards refers to the most common electrical applications. The standards may have been amended, but the relevant amendments are not mentioned here. 1. IEC 60076 Power Transformers 2. IEC 60076-1 General 3. IEC 60076-2 Temperature Rise for Liquid Immersed Transformers 4. IEC 60076-3 Insulation Levels, Dielectric Tests and External Clearances in Air 5. IEC 60076-5 Ability to Withstand Short Circuit 6. 6. IEC 60076-14 Liquid Immersed Power Transformers Using High Temperature Insulation Materials 7. IEC 60296 and Used Mineral Insulating Oils for Transformers and Switchgear 8. IEC 60137 Insulated Bushings for Alternating Voltages Above 1000 V 9. IEC 60529 Classification of Degree of Protection Provided by Enclosures 10. IEC 60354 Loading Guide for Oil Immersed Transformers 11. IEC 60551 Measurement of Transformer and Reactor Sound Level Cooling Code and Insulation Liquid No transformer is truly an ideal transformer as each will incur some losses which gets converted into heat. If this heat is not dissipated properly, the excess temperature in the transformer has the potential to cause serious problems like insulation failure. The transformer requires a cooling system to prevent this from occurring. 
power rating and voltage levels. A power rating is the rated voltage multiplied by the phase factor for three phase transformers and the rated line current at center tap when several taps are provided. Short circuit impedance. The short circuit impedance is the transformer's impedance, usually between 4% and 6% for distribution transformers and higher than 7% for power transformers. The short circuit impedance is the percentage of the primary rated voltage that must be applied at the transformer primary winding when the secondary winding is shorted in order to have the rated currents in the primary and secondary windings. If the short circuit impedance increases, it will result in an unnecessary voltage drop across the power transformer and will limit its ability to deliver power to the secondary connected equipment transformers working in parallel should have identical short circuit impedance. Vector Group the vector group is the International Electrotechnical Commission IEC method of categorizing the high-voltage HV windings and low-voltage LV winding configurations of three-phase transformers. The vector group designation indicates the windings configura configurations and the difference in phase angle between them. The possible connections are as follows. D-delta connection. Y-star connection. Z-zigzag connection and the neutral exists for connection outside the transformer. The vector group determines the phase displacement between the primary and the secondary winding, and each unit in the vector group refers to 30 degrees displacement. A vector group DIN 11 is delta on primary, star on secondary, with neutral brought out in 330 degree phase displacement. Tank types. The transformer tank is usually a non-rigid structure with corrugated panels, designed to withstand mechanical stresses, absorb oil expansion, and meet the thermal evacuation constraints. For power rating above 3,150 kVA, the tank is usually designed with rigid structure, cooling radiators, and conservator. Magnetic circuits The structure of magnetic circuit are, three legs construction, step lap stacking. Made from a cold-rolled, grain-oriented silicon steel strip CRGO, each strip 0.23, 0.27, or 0.30 mm thick is insulated on both sides by carlite. Permissible tolerances Manufacturing tolerances are the deviations between the measured values and the guaranteed values. Unless otherwise specified in the order, the tolerances are limited to the values specified in IEC 60076-1. Frequency is the number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit of time. It is also referred to as temporal frequency, which emphasizes the contrast to spatial frequency and angular frequency. The period is the duration of time of one cycle in a repeating event, so the period is the reciprocal of the frequency. The frequency at which the transformer is designed to operate is 50 Hz or 60 Hz and is set in accordance with the network frequency. Ambient temperature and temperature rise. The normal ambi ambient temperature under which the transformer will operate is defined as the ambient temperature, where the temperature rise expresses the rise of the cooling medium and the winding temperatures when the transformer operates at full load. The maximum values are defined by applied standards. Winding coils. An electromagnetic coil is an electrical conductor such as a wire in the shape of a coil, spiral, or helix used in applications where electric currents interact with magnetic fields. Either an electric current is passed through the wire of the coil to generate a magnetic field, or conversely an external time-varying magnetic field through the interior of the coil generates an EMF voltage in the conductor. Both the primary and secondary windings are made of copper or aluminum. The primary voltage is directly wound on the secondary voltage winding, with insulating barriers and cooling channels between the two windings. Applications The distribution transformer provides the final voltage transformation in the electric power distribution system, stepping down the network's medium voltage to low voltage, the level used by the consumer, and is considered one of the most important links in the distribution network. Distribution transformers are used in many applications. Transformer Classifications A distribution transformer or service transformer is a transformer that provides the final voltage transformation in the electric power distribution system, stepping down the voltage used in the distribution lines to the level used by the customer. Whether the transformers are used for infrastructure systems, industry or households, transformers can be classified based on many factors like installation or losses which is the most important factor in the transformer. 
In any electrical machine, loss can be defined as the difference between input power and output power. Standard Losses Transformers As per the international standards and local authorities' requirements, with a full capability to match IEC, SSE, and BS5070A-2-1 Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3. Under those values a standard losses transformer is made to fulfill the customer requirements with a competitive cost and high quality. Special Transformers They are many special transformers. Like PV Transformers. PV Transformers are the ideal solution for photovoltaic systems. The technology used along with the appropriate sizing of the core, the framework, and the high-quality materials used result in the most suitable product in terms of quality, reliability, efficiency and cost-effectiveness. In special transformers like dual-voltage transformers. A dual-voltage transformer can be defined as a transformer capable of providing two types of voltages, i.e. if the two separate windings are connected in series, they will provide the sum of voltages supplied to the two coils and if the two windings are connected in parallel, then the net voltage will be decreased. These voltages can be switched within the transformer according to the type of output required by using a dual voltage switch. Using a transformer which has reconnectable windings greatly reduces costs and saves time as many power applications require a number of voltage levels for different machines, in this case using different types of transformers is not a viable solution. In special transformers like transformer with hybrid insulation winding, there are three types of hybrid windings transformers. The first type is a semi-hybrid insulation windings transformer, mixed hybrid insulation windings transformer and a full hybrid insulation windings transformer. Three hybrid winding types share the use of conventional barrier insulation and the use of high temperature insulation on the windings. At last you can see transformer different tests list which are performed under standard IEC and routine ASPR utility demand.